So here we have Yomi prepared for surgery at this point. We have planned the case. Uh, an implant in the lower right, we have number 30. Uh, the extraction's already been done. At this point, we have the robot arm is in guided mode. So it's free to move anywhere when I'm far from the site of surgery. But as soon as I get within a few millimeters of the surgical site, it's gonna stop me. And it says the angle needs to be corrected to match the plan. So on screen, it shows me to tilt the handle up. It shows me my angle error is about 15 degrees off. Most importantly, it physically guides me. So by applying just a little bit of force, it brings me to the correct angle. If I try and push the wrong way, it feels very stiff and heavy. So I'll take it all the way the correct direction until it stops me again and says, okay, now you have the right angle, but you need to translate to get to the starting position. It's saying on the screen, I need to move about five millimeters distal and lingual. Again, physically, it's gonna be very easy. So I just slide distal and lingual. It stops me again when I have the right position. So now I've got the right angle and the right position, and I can only drill in and out of the osteotomy. I can't deviate from that position or angle. So at this point, I would drill down, complete the osteotomy, and then back out. And you'll notice if I let go, the, the, the system will only rotate about the axis, but it won't ever change position or angle. It'll stick with the plan trajectory. If I move the patient, you can see the drill will always follow with the patient motion. And when I complete the osteotomy, I keep pulling back and it lets me into free mode.